Well, hey there, welcome back to the shop. Today we are back on the GB and I think it's gonna be a pretty exciting day. I'm gonna to try to get through the entire front end except for the dummy radial. And as I said before, I don't know where the CG is gonna land on this thing. So I'm not sure whether I wanna use the one that's provided, which probably is gonna be a little bit lighter or if I wanna do a 3D printed one, which is gonna be heavier, but have a lot more detail. So let's get started. All right, so uh, right now all I did was install the motor mount, pretty straightforward. I actually didn't need to extend the lines for my particular motor mount, but I went ahead and did anyway. Um, I didn't use any of the patterns that came with it because I'm not putting in a glow motor. So uh, the instructions say that the motor, there it is. The motor should be six inches from the base of the mount to the front of the prop adapter, okay? So, basing off of that, now I do have a little bit of extra on my steel ruler, which is roughly an eighth of an inch. So we are just an eighth of an inch shy, so that should be right about six inches. So, this is a Great Plains, uh, large brushless motor mount um, took this off of another plane and it worked just fine and it should be sufficient for holding this motor and the prop and all of that i will torque these down when i'm absolutely certain that the prop is going to clear the cowl but i need the motor in position in order to center the cowl which uh the cowl needs to be mounted now so let's get into that All right, so what you saw me, well, I, did, I didn't show it on camera, but I took the two ply cowl rings and glued them together with some medium CA and areas that I couldn't get to glue with medium CA as I went around the edge. I just put some thin CA on it to wick in. Uh, it's still a little bit warped, but it's a lot better than what it was. Uh, anyway, the, the thing that you saw me do is trying to center the, uh, the cowl ring on and it's kind of tricky. And then the dumb thing is it tells me to take it off and then mark the half inch. So then I have to do it again, especially because of how warped and off this thing is. It's not centering very nicely. Uh, it's, it's funny because like they'll be centered on each one of these tabs and 
you know, there'll be bigger gaps here and smaller gaps here. Anyway, so now that I've got it mostly under control with the little markings here, because I've got to drill holes through here, and then I've got to put screws in each one of those, and then I have to drill those out one at a time progressively, and then put in bolts with blind nuts. So it's kind of a process. So bear with me. Uh, you'll see all the progress, but that's what I'm dealing with here. It's just the manual should have had you mark these first before you center this. I don't know why they did that, but anyway, lesson learned moving forward. Well, that was a struggle. <laughs> Helps if you have the right tools. Because of this uh, angle on the firewall here, it was difficult to get the Allen key in there, but I uh, was able to find a bit right here. And uh, yeah, so I've got some medium CA here. It says to use some epoxy, but medium CA I have found uh, locks in these T-nuts pretty well. Really, you're just trying to prevent them from backing out if you ever have to move the cowl. And honestly, you're not going to be removing it that often, especially with how awkward it's going to be to remove them. So, uh, next up is that thing. That thing right there. All right, so I put some clamps on the uh, on the on the mount ring here. Uh, I'm I'm gonna mix up some epoxy uh, here. I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm not gonna bore you guys. You see me mix epoxy so many times. Uh, mix up some epoxy and I'll put it around the cow ring and let that cure overnight. Um, but once this uh, once this uh, medium CA has set, I want to put the cow back on. And then I want to put the prop on. I think you guys are going to be excited about this prop. Uh, those who know me know that I'm a huge fan of Zor props. And I ordered a nice one for this. So uh, let me make sure that this is cured out. And I'll put it back on. And I'll show you guys the results. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, guys. So here's where we are. This is a Zor 18 by 12 black. And this is the PJM series. Anyway, the the um, airfoil in this is supposed to be fully symmetrical, uh, so it should have some really nice sport performance. And this is specifically for electrics too, so I'm really excited about this prop. Uh, number one, it's a Zor prop I've never tried before on any of my setups, but also I really like the look of the black. I think at the tips of the props, I'm going to paint them white, like eh, about an inch, about an inch or so. Paint them white and I'll have a, a red stripe in there too. 
Uh, I think just dress up the prop a little bit and look really, really nice. So I think the, uh, I think the GB is looking really good right now. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so that's gonna do it for today, guys. I'm gonna take the prop off and take the cowl off, mix up some epoxy and uh, set that cowl ring on overnight uh, with some of my uh, long cure epoxy just so that it's nice and strong. I don't want it to come wobbling through because if it does get a little bit looser vibration, the if it, if it bumps the prop, it's just gonna disintegrate. And uh, once you disintegrate that fiberglass, some of the threads may hold and it could get caught up in the motor and then just rip the motor off and then you've got a really bad CG issue. So I'd rather have some higher strength epoxy on this uh, just for insurance. It's not really going to hurt anything. It's just a waiting game. Anyway, so with that, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. You know, the uh, YouTube algorithms are favoring po folks that, you know, get lots of thumbs up. So if you like what you're seeing, uh, I would re really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. That way I can share this project with other people too. Anyway, we'll see you later and we'll continue this flying work of art later. 